Good morning. We are, well, I say we, we're not. It's just me on my own, of course. We have to go shopping by ourselves. I am going food shopping today. Put your hand in mine. Follow me, let me waste your time. Set up I figured I would take you along with me on our little food shop. We haven't been shopping now for... What day is today? Today is Tuesday and we last went shopping like two Fridays ago. So we're kind of 14, 15, 16, like 70, 18 days since we've been shopping and we are desperately short of quite a lot of things, to be honest. We sat as a family yesterday and then I sat on my own a little bit and did a meal plan. Our plan is kind of like to do two weeks worth of shopping at a time. So we did a meal plan of... Uh, for two weeks just for dinners i don't meal plan like breakfast and lunches because i just don't see a point to be quite honest so we did dinner meal plans and then wrote out a big list of everything that we need i'm not sure how much of a fan i am of these like big shops to be honest last time i went it was like it was a lot like there's a big full trolley so yeah that's what i'm doing i am going to a different shop today i don't know if i want this on or not yeah i'm gonna put it on um i'm going to tesco mainly because we need i say we need like we don't need petrol because we're not obviously going anywhere <laughs> to need petrol but i've got like five miles left on my <laughs> petrol tank so i'm gonna go to a tesco where there's a petrol station that's the main reason i'm going there it's a little bit of a drive away but well I say a little bit of a drive, like it's not too far that like hopefully I'll get there on my my, my little bit of um my little bit of petrol that I do have. And let's go shopping. Hopefully there's not a queue, fingers crossed. There's not a queue, but we'll uh we'll just see. Oh look, I've got 18 miles left on my tank. I don't know what I was talking about, five. Right, let's go shopping. I have arrived at Tesco. I can't actually see if there's um a queue or anything outside i don't think there is and the car park looks pretty empty so hopefully there's not a big queue it is a, a huge it's like a big tesco extra so it's a huge one let's go grab a trolley let's take a look this was the first time i've been to a tesco since this whole thing started and i've got to say i was very impressed with them they had tons of signs around telling you how it was working in the store they were wiping down all the trolleys with hand sanitizer, well not with hand sanitizer, with sanitizer. And there was a one-way system in place which worked really well to be honest. And then there was also like a one queue system with like there was lots of arrows on the floor telling everyone where to go and just generally really impressed with them. I am done. Oh my goodness. I've never bought so much stuff. Apparently, it's going to cost me that much. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, I've got to say. Oh, I don't even know what to say, but I don't think I want to be doing this fortnightly shopping anymore because it's just so much stuff. Thank goodness that Tesco have that, um, like, scan as you shop because I was able to just, like, scan it and put it in my bags. If I had to have put it all in my trolley and then get it out and, like, check it out, oh, I think I would have cried. Wait, I'm going to go and get petrol. I think it's 105 a litre. Got my receipt. It's like, look at this. Whoa. Let's go get petrol and then the fun of putting all this away. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not a fan of this too. Wait, it's only you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, isn't it? If you can help me just carry it into the kitchen and then I'll sort the rest out. Thank you. Oh. 
This is all the food that we got. It's everywhere, it's all over the kitchen. Look, it's there, and it's here. I'll go through and I'll show you what I got. We have bread items. I meant to get, to be honest, I think I was in a bit of a flap, a flap, what am I trying to say? A bit of a flap throughout this shop. I meant to get one brown, one white, but I've got two white loaves. One will go in the freezer and one that we'll eat now. Two baguettes. We all love a baguette. We have some of these baked at home, which is just handy to have in. They will last for a while. They're just six little, six little par-baked rolls. Some white rolls for burgers. Some English muffins that Lara requested, which I forgot about them. And then, like, at the end, I had to go and get them. But I had to go, because it was a one-way system in the shop. So I had to go, like, all the way around, and it was, it was difficult. Anyway, I hope she enjoys these <laughs> English muffins. I got some tortilla wraps, three packs of tortilla wraps. We'll use them either for fajitas um, or we'll have them as sandwiches and things. Or not sandwiches, like in place of sandwiches, we'll have wraps. These were on offer, these scotch pancakes. They have not got, I think like, yeah, the date is pretty short on them, but they were, I mean, it was only like 10p off them. But I got them, uh, three packs of those, I think. I'm, I mean, I don't know where they, yeah, suitable for home freezing, so I'll just throw them in the freezer they are for Stephen Stephen likes them as a breakfast item and then I got we got a ton of crisps so we got some tortilla chips and some salsa to do nachos with Stephen requested McCoy's salt and vinegar I saw these to give a try so I got those and Laura requested just like own brand <laughs> meaty crisps and the only ones they had were like either a pack of six or this so <laughs> there's a lot of crisps in there a huge big thing of 30 crisps what's it got it's got a very salted cheese and onion beef and onion roast chicken and smoky bacon and then back here move the salsa out of the way oh we have these these have been on the shopping list can you see that bronze bronze crunch we thought they were from m and and we couldn't find them let me show you look up here on the old shopping list that's been up here gold chocolate chunks Stephen wrote it up there about two months ago haven't been able to find them anywhere now we know it's tesco that they're from i was just down that aisle looking for yeast uh, which by the way you just can't get for love and money at the moment and i saw them so Stephen will be pleased with that to have like on his ice cream and stuff i've got some cinnamon we're running short on that we have that on like porridge or like stewed apple and stuff Lava requested some chicken soup just to have for some quick, easy lunches. Some pesto, again, quick, easy. I put that on sandwiches or just like for a quick pasta dish or something for lunch. These, oh my goodness, I'm so chuffed that I found these. I was getting those red peppers for a gnocchi recipe, I think, and then I saw these. Oh my goodness, if you've ever had... I think it's at Pizza Express. Lara gets this salad. Is it at Pizza? Mmm. I can't actually remember. I'm sure it is like Pizza Express. And there's something that Lara gets. And these little red peppers come on them. Oh my goodness. They are just... If they're the same thing, they're so delicious. So, I got some of them. I hope they're the same thing. Because, oh my goodness, they're so good. They're like a bit sweet and a bit spicy. And, oh, they're so good. Oh. It's okay, I didn't break it. I got this sweet pickle. I'm going to try and make, I found this recipe for uh, like McDonald's burger sauce that has this and I'm going to try and like recreate McDonald's burger sauce uh, one day. So that's for that, as is the mustard. For that, I got some veg stock and some sriracha just for putting on top of things. Like I put that on my avocado toast or I think I've got a recipe actually for sriracha tofu that we're doing this week or next week one of the two i'm not quite sure we have some chickpeas i'm gonna make hummus with the chickpeas we've got we're doing a quiche it's like a tofu quiche and hummus goes in there and we also just like to have hummus on hand as just a quick easy snack to have we have some black turtle beans back there i don't think i have a recipe for black with black turtle beans in particularly for the next two weeks but I just saw them and got them. So that was like a non-list item. Actually, it was on my list, but I don't really know why it was on my list. I don't know. Anyway, we have some beans. They're always useful. Handy to have in. We have three tins of finely chopped tomatoes. Passata is just impossible to get at the moment. I prefer passata than the chopped tomatoes, but it is impossible 
to get Congo it. I love no money. Uh, we have this whole wheat gnocchi. This was the only gnocchi, like the only one in the shop. So <laughs> I got that. We have, I think we've got two gnocchi recipes, one each week. We have got just some made hummus, only because it was two for, what was it? Two for two pound, I think. And so I just had it like making up the thing because Lara requested taramasalata, which I think is gross, but she wants that. And I got this alioli. It's not the alioli that I normally get or wanted, but I, I like the the one in the yellow tub. But I couldn't find it, so got that instead. And I just have that with uh, like the baguette. Oh, I just love it so much. It reminds me of being a holiday. Uh, so yeah, so some hummus, taramasalata, and some alioli. Some ketchup back there. This is for Stephen. It, it's normally on offer for like 50p, but it wasn't on offer. It was a pound, so I was like, I'm only getting one for him. <laughs> I wasn't going to get any more than that. Some eggs for Lara. She requested some eggs. I'm not sure I agree with that, but Lara wanted them, so got her some eggs. We've got three things of tofu. Uh, there's a couple of recipes. We've got, like I said, the quiche. Uh, what else have we got? I can't remember, but there's a few recipes with tofu over the next few weeks. Some feta, Lara requested, and some more cheese for Stephen. We have two Honey Nut Loops. They were only a pound each. I refuse to buy like Cheerios and things because that a sat like that in Cheerios is like I don't know three pound or something, whereas <laughs> own brand is a pound. So two packs of those that Stephen has for breakfast. Some like cheese crispy things. I don't really know some of these for me just for some easy quick lunches like if we run out of bread which we probably will then like I, these are an alternative to have avocado on or whatever for lunch chia seed and buckwheat i thought they sounded quite nice we'll give those a whirl and just some crackers Lara requested some crackers and she also requested these corn cakes I'm not sure never heard of them before and some breadsticks and then we've got just some biscuits just for little snacks for the kids and whatever and easter eggs were on special offer so i got i think these were a pound so i got two two easter eggs back here i got a barbecue bag coal thing just in case like if this would nice weather continues then we'll probably do a barbecue at some point it was just a kind of if if we can then we'll do one it's not like a definite on that but just so we've got them in uh, and then we've just got some juice. That juice is for Lara, the apple and mango. And then that one's Stephen. And sometimes, maybe I generally just drink water, but I will have that sometimes. And Stephen wanted some lemonade. Before we move over to the fruit and veg, I got these two cute little summer dresses. I thought they were nice that they had rainbows on. Over here on the fruit and veg, I think I got a huge amount, to be honest, but let's... Let's go see, we've got some, not that bottle, move that bottle out of the way. We have some romaine lettuce and some, I've got these fresh greens. I've never, I think that I can just like slice them up and like fry them off a little bit or something. I don't really know, but I, they were like dirt cheap, so I thought I'd give them a whirl, just maybe as a quick lunch with something. We've got some leeks, they go in the quiche and something else. I just the only meal I'm mentioning is this quiche, isn't it? I got some curly kale again, like this is just for salads and things and on sandwiches. Uh, some spinach, I think that's all the greens. Yeah, that's all the greens that I've got. Hopefully, my own lettuce will be growing pretty good soon. Fingers crossed on that. I've got a broccoli and two bags of peppers. We do go through quite a few peppers generally, and the same with bananas i've got loads of bananas there's like two bunches here and a bunch back there we just eat them uh, or we go they go in smoothies and bananas just disappear in this house i got two little avocados that were reduced they are very ripe so they do need eating so probably for my lunch i'll have an avocado on toast or something lots of apples for eating and also lara requested some apples for stewing uh, we've got some carrots some plums, some little cherry tomatoes back there. Three cucumbers, we do go through a lot of cucumbers, like I just snack on cucumbers, they go in salads, sandwiches, so three cucumbers, a bag of pears, some spring onions, a huge, huge thing of ginger, 
some lemons for recipes and just for going in water. Some, have I mentioned courgettes? I don't know if I mentioned courgettes, but I got some courgettes. It was £2 for these three courgettes. Isn't that expensive? I think that's quite expensive. Some mushrooms. And this was a little treat. Me and Laura were talking about passion fruit the other night. And like we both love passion fruit and so they were cheaper than I thought. They were only £1.25 for the three. So I got three passion fruit, some easy peelers, three things of garlic. There's, we have a lot of recipes with garlic in <laughs> this week. So I was like, isn't this garlic tiny? I don't know why it's so tiny. So I got three, three things of garlic, some potatoes back here for all sorts of different things. And some stir fry veg mix. That's for tonight's tea. Actually, we're having stir fry for tonight. This is all the frozen stuff, and I did the frozen stuff last. And I think you can tell that, like, I just couldn't be bothered. To be quite honest, by the time I got down round to the frozen aisle, couldn't be asked, and my trolley was full. To be honest, <laughs> so we have got back here. Up here we have a uh, pizza, a uh, cheese, not pizza. What is it? Uh, garlic bread. Two pizza garlic breads and a pizza. We have some fries back there and some of these potato lasses that Stephen has requested. Frozen fruit is impossible to get at the moment. It's driving me insane. Like we always have a big bag of frozen fruit in the freezer, but we really struggle to get it. So all I could get was this exotic fruit mix, a blue breeze and a black breeze. So that'll just have to do. That's all we managed to, that's all I could get hold of. Then lollies were requested i'm sure that i bought another thing of lollies i hope i haven't left them in the car or something maybe not but i have some lollies and some ice cream Stephen requested we haven't been able to get ice cream for ages either for some reason that's been really difficult to get hold of in terms of frozen veg i just got some more spinach we put that in smoothies and it's just good just to throw into different meals that you make making it's just dead simple and easy and some more peas and then Stephen's requested some of these chicken fried chicken and some beef burgers not a fan of that as you may know but that's what he wanted and then some veggie burgers for me and that's everything so with all that food this is what we're going to make over the next two weeks we have got this week's plan up here and next week's down there and I tend to like anything that requires a recipe I've got a Pinterest board and I pin them on Pinterest so we've got what we're having just like I say it's just the dinner that we've meal planned for and who is gonna make it so Monday that was yesterday Stephen made us mac and cheese tonight we're gonna have stir fry quick easy simple veg stir fry we had some noodles already in the cup when I was making the meal plan, I was trying to think about like, what I have got in to use up things like the pasta and stuff that we've got in. Like we've got a lot of couscous, so we're using some couscous in meals and things. A lot of the meals are based on something that we already had in like the store cupboard. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we're having garlic and kale gnocchi, a recipe that Lara found. I'm going to make that. We have got some rice rolls in, well not rice rolls, rice paper sheet things in the cupboard that we've had for a while that need using up. So we're going to do some Vietnamese rice rolls. We're going to do a pizza night on Friday. Then a tofu quiche that I've kept talking about. It's got like leek and what else? It have broccoli and tomatoes in it. And it's you just like whiz up some tofu with some hummus and then put the roasted vegetables in. It's really tasty to be honest. On Sunday, we're going to do roast veg and couscous. To be honest, I probably could have left one of these days out and used like a leftover day. Um, but maybe we'll just do like leftovers for lunch and stuff. We'll just see how it goes, to be honest. And then next week, we have got Stephen chose and is making a pasta bake on Monday. We've got a lentil shepherd's pie. Romesco gnocchi, which is, I think it's like a roasted pepper... I don't know, it's a new recipe that I found. I think it's a roast, a roasted pepper and tomato sauce on gnocchi. Lava has requested Jamie's tagine. That's Jamie Oliver's uh, butternut squash tagine. Although, I struggle to get butternut squash, so I'm not sure what we'll do about that. Uh, we're going to do burgers on Friday, probably with chips and maybe some salad. I'm not sure. We've got Saturday, orecchetti and broccoli the orecchetti we brought back from italy when we went last year so i'm gonna use that up on the saturday and then i have put a leftovers in 
on Sunday because I'm sure that we will have some leftovers and if not I have got like a, a lentil bolognese in the freezer that I can use up and that is everything I bought I'm gonna go ahead and put this all away find some places in the cupboard and the fridge and everything to put all this stuff and I think moving forward I don't think I'm gonna be doing this two weekly shot I'm not a fan of it but uh but we'll see we will see thank you so much for watching I will see you